chapter 18 of the giver now in chapter 17 the speaker the committee gave everyone a free day a day a random uh, vacation like a festival and so jonas went down to the river on his bike to find asher and there was a group of children playing in the grass pretending to shoot each other and this brought back the memory for jonas of wartime when that young boy was dying next to him with blood everywhere and asking for water so this upset jonas and then he ruined the game asher was angry with him and asher and fiona left him and that was a really big moment for him um, and then at the end of the chapter, just after that, uh, the family are talking about the twins and that one of the twins is about to be released. And so now we are on chapter 18. Giver, Jonas asked the next afternoon, do you ever think about release? Do you mean my own release or just the general topic of release? Both, I guess. I apologize. I mean, I should have been more precise, but I don't know exactly what I meant. Sit back up. No need to lie down while we're talking, Jonas, who had already been stretched out on the bed when the question came to his mind, sat back up. I guess I do think about it occasionally, the giver said. I think about my own release when I'm in an awful lot of pain. I wish I could put in a request for it sometimes. But I'm not permitted to do that until the new receiver is trained. Me? Jonas said in a dejected voice, he was not looking forward to the end of the training, when he would become the new receiver. It was clear to him what a terribly difficult and lonely life it was, despite, although, you get honour, the honour. I can't request release either, Jonas pointed out. It was in my rules. The giver laughed harshly. <laughs> I know that. They gave out, they hammered out those rules after the failure ten years ago. Jonas has heard, had heard again and again reference talking about the previous failure, the person before him. But he still did not know what had happened 10 years ago. Giver, he said, tell me what happened, please. The giver shrugged. Well, on the surface, it was quite simple. A receiver to be was selected the same way you were at the ceremony of 12. The selection went smoothly, went good enough. The ceremony was held and the selection was made. The crowd cheered as they did for you. The new receiver was puzzled and a little fright frightened, scared, as you were. My parents told me it was a female. The giver nodded. Jonas thought of his favorite female, Fiona, and shivered. He wouldn't want his gentle friend to suffer the way he had, talking on the memories, taking on the memories. What was she like? He asked the giver. The giver looked sad thinking about it. She was an incredible, a remarkable young woman, very self-possessed and serene nice intelligent eager to learn he shook his head and drew a deep breath <sighs> you know jonas when she came to me in this room when she presented herself to begin her training jonas interrupted with a question can you tell me her name my parents said that it wasn't to be spoken again in the community but couldn't you say it just to me the giver hesitated waited painfully as if saying the name aloud might be difficult excruciating her name was Rosemary, he told Jonas finally. Rosemary, I like that name. The giver went on. When she came to me for the first time, she sat there in the chair where you sat on your first day. She was eager and excited and a little scared. We talked, I tried to explain things as well as I could. The way you did to me, the giver chuckled, laughed ruefully. The explanations are difficult. The whole thing is so beyond one's experience, difficult to understand. But I tried, and she listened carefully. Her eyes were very luminous, I remember. He looked up suddenly. Jonas, I gave you a memory that I told you was my favourite. I still have a shred, a little bit of it left. The room with the family and grandparents? Jonas nodded. Of course he remembered. Yes, he said. It had that wonderful feeling with it. You told me it was love. Well, you can understand then. That's what I felt for Rosemary, the giver explained. I loved her. I feel it for you too, he added. What happened to her? Jonas asked. Her training begun, she received well as you do. She was so enthusiastic, so delighted, happy to experience new things. I remember her laughter. His voice faltered and trailed off. What happened? Jonas asked again after a moment. Please tell me. 
The giver closed his eyes. It broke my heart, Jonas, to transfer pain to her. But it was my job. It's what I had to do, the way I've had to do it to you. The room was silent. Jonas waited, and finally the giver continued. Five weeks, that was all. I gave her happy memories, a ride on a merry-go-round, a kitten to play with, a picnic. Sometimes I chose just because I knew it would make her laugh. And so I treasured the sound of that laughter in, the, in this room that had always been so silent. But she was like you, Jonas. She wanted to experience everything. She knew that it was her responsibility. And so she asked me for more difficult memories. Jonas held his breath for a moment. You didn't give her war, did you? Not after just five weeks. The giver shook his head and sighed. No, and I didn't give her physical pain, but I gave her loneliness. And I gave her loss when someone dies or someone you love dies. I transferred a memory of a child taken from its parents. That was the first one. She appeared stunned at its end. Jonas swallowed. Rosemary and her laugh had begun to seem real to him, and he pictured her looking up from the bed of memories, shocked. The giver continued. I backed off and gave her more little delights, happy things. But everything changed. Once she knew about pain, I could see it in her eyes. She wasn't brave enough, Jonas suggested. The giver didn't respond to the question. She insisted that I continue. She told me to continue, that I not spare her. She said it was her duty, and I knew, of course, that she was correct, that it was her job. I couldn't bring myself to inflict physical pain on her, but I gave her anguish of many kinds, so different types of pain, poverty and hunger and terror. I had to, Jonas. It was my job, and she had been chosen. The giver looked at him imploringly. Jonas stroked his hand. Finally, one afternoon, we finished for the day. It had been a hard session. I tried to finish, as I do with you, by transferring something happy and cheerful. But the times of laughter were gone by then. She stood up very silently, frowning as if, were, as if she were making a decision. Then she came over to me and put her arms around me and kissed my cheek. As Jonas watched, the giver stroked his own cheek, remembering, recalling the touch of Rosemary's lips 10 years before. She left that day, left this room, and did not go back to her dwelling. I was notified by the speaker, told by the speaker, that she had gone directly to the chief elder and asked to be, to be released. But it's against the rules. The receiver in training can't apply for re It's in your rules, Jonas, but it wasn't in hers. She asked for release, and they had to give it to her. I never saw her again. So that was the failure, Jonas thought. Remember, failing and doing things bad in this community is not good. It was obvious that it saddened the giver very deeply, but it didn't seem such a terrible thing after all. And he, Jonas, would never have done it, never have requested, asked for release, no matter how difficult his training became. The giver needed a successor, someone after him, and he had been chosen. A thought occurred to Jonas. Rosemary had been re released very early in her training. What if something happened to him? Jonas, he had a whole year's worth of memories now. Give her, he asked. I can't request release, I know that. But what if something happened, an accident? What if I fell into the river like the little four, Caleb, did? Well, that doesn't make sense because I'm a good swimmer. But what if I couldn't swim and fell into the river and was lost? Then there wouldn't be a new receiver, but you would already have given away an awful lot of important memories. So even though they would select a new receiver, the memories would be gone, except for the small parts, the shreds that you have left of them. And then what if... He started to laugh, suddenly. I sound like my sister Lily, he said, amused, laughing at himself. The giver looked at him gravely. You must stay away from the river, my friend, he said. The community lost Rosemary after five weeks, and it was a disaster for them. I don't know what the community would do if they lost you. Why was it a disaster? I think I mentioned to you once, the giver reminded him, that when she was gone, the memories came back to the people. If you were to be lost in the river, Jonas, your memories would not be lost with you. Memories are forever. 
Rosemary had only those five weeks worth, and most of them were good ones. But there were those few terrible memories, the ones that had overwhelmed her, being too much emotionally. For a while, they overwhelmed the community. All those feelings, they'd never experienced that before. I was so devastated by my own grief at her loss and my own feeling of failure that I didn't even try to help them through it. I was angry too. The giver was quiet for a moment, obviously thinking. You know, he said finally, if they lost you, with all the training you've had now, they'd have all those memories again themselves. Jonas made a face. They'd hate that. They certainly would. They wouldn't know how to deal with it all. The only way I, I deal with it is by having you there to help me, Jonas pointed out with a sigh. The giver nodded. Hmm, I suppose, he said slowly, that I could. You could what? The giver was still deep in thought, thinking hard. After a moment, he said, if you floated off in the river, I suppose I could help the whole community the way I've helped you. It's an interesting concept, idea. I need to think about it some more. Maybe we'll talk about it again sometime but not now. I'm glad you're a good swimmer, Jonas, but stay away from the river. He laughed a little, but the laughter was not light-hearted, playful. His thoughts seemed to be elsewhere, and his eyes were very troubled. That is the end of chapter 18, so Jonas wants to know more a little bit, a little bit more about the person before him, Rosemary, who left after five weeks. And when you leave in this job that they have as the receiver, all of those memories get released to the people. And the reason that's terrible is because those people are ordinary people. They've never experienced any of these emotions that the, that the giver has to keep, that the receiver has to keep as well. And so they need to protect the people from some of the terrible memories. And in the end, the giver says maybe that there's a possibility that Jonas could go to the elsewhere. That's the